The National Metrology Institute of Mexico presents Metrology for Industry and Metrology 4.0 Approach from the Perspective of Digital Transformation Challenge and Experiences by Aldo Adrián García from Vibrations and Acoustics Area of Physics Metrology Department The experience developed lies in the optimization of laboratories development and management of projects related with Industry 4.0 trends. This presentation was done in collaboration with Juan Gabriel Lugo Luevano and Juan Pablo Ayala to be present at the Digital Metrology Forum for the Digital Transformation of the Inter-American Metrology System. What is Industry 4.0? While there are many ideas regarding Industry 4.0, The idea presented at the 2011 Hanover Mess event with Dr. Henning is the original, which consists of an investment in smart technologies for automotive process and engineering sectors. Having this simple idea makes us wonder if this is indeed achieving by investing in these technologies. However, There must be a very responsible criteria regarding that it not only implies economic investment, it implies an impact on the paradigm of cultural change in people and their interaction with technology. The simple fact of adding an industrial process with intelligent technology results in an Industry 4.0. I consider that there is much more work behind it. The technologies that I mentioned in the previous slide refer to the following. Cybersecurity. Without it and with the increasing flow of private information available of any device with access to the network make it vulnerable. Cloud processes. All the information that can be uploaded from manufacturing process without due analysis or processing comes the risk of it becoming non-useful information. Mobile technologies. Since the users interact with mobile devices, the developed tools get more added value when they solve problems and improve users' life. Communication between machines. Since the processes at higher speed require the communication of computers, the communication language between them must be optimized to satisfy the speed of demand in intercommunicated processes. 3D printers. This tool allows rapid prototyping development with affordable cost. New printing technologies allow materials to be combined and integrated into industries of food consumption, home building, education, and manufacture. Advanced robots. The implementation of program robots to perform dangerous tasks or efficient tasks in the industry has increased. However, the placements of these robots continue to require security measures for those who are close to them. There are technologies that allow safe interaction between robots and operators in production lines. The use of robots is not limited to the industry, but also in packaging and logistics of the biggest e-commerce companies using communication networks between robots for intelligent coordination of the movement of products for delivery on demand. The idea is to develop and program the robot to be smart. Data analysis and big data. The information network for the control, monitoring of data from sensors and processes are so varied and require the handling of a high volume of data where the tools that process them must be fast enough to obtain useful information at the required time. Internet of Things. Communication of information through different media, protocols, and technologies are available to be integrated according to current needs. Desensorization of processes interconnected by communication networks provide useful tools in the process for decision making and process control. RFID technologies. The technology is scalable to generate networks of interconnected nodes in a secure and relatively fast way. Those could be integrated in items, processes, tracking and monitoring with the ability to create encrypted identification fingerprints for better security. Cognitive programming. 
the tool that helps to create models that can simulate the complex processes of human reasoning where the answer may be ambiguous or uncertain. Challenge of Metrology 4.0 The demands of sectors such as the aeronautics, shipbuilding or wind energy sectors where the manufacture of increasingly large and sophisticated components is required, together with the demands of current industry 4.0, automotive, mobility, smart city, where digitalization of production processes and products is required. They are accelerating the transfer of metrology from the laboratory to the production plant. This is where metrology must evolve to become an enabling element of current industry 4.0. Collaborations, Metrology and Industry 4.0 Below are examples of Metrology for Industry 4.0. One of these examples is implementation of the concept of a digital twin. Measurement system for transmission error and backlash in differentials. One of the measurement stations developed using the concept of Metrology and Industry 4.0 was the transmission error and backlash of automotive differentials. In this project, a methodology of project development and technology transfer was applied, which includes the following steps. 1. Analysis of metrological solutions in collaboration with client and developer. 2. Selection criteria for instrumentation, implementation and metrological validation. 3. Design of test benches for metrological assurance of the system. 4. Instrumentation, selection of sensors and signal processors. 5. Development of measurement algorithm. 6. Integration of instrumentation and software. 7. Validation of measurement and results. 8. Land installation and performance study. 9. Validation within the production line process. 10. Metrological validation and integration with the plant capture system. Example videos. The system includes high-resolution encoders to measure the differential angular displacement, one placed at the input with the pinion and the other at the output at the gear. One of the criteria for implementing sensors in mechanism is Figure intermediate elements in the movement transmission chain results in a better way to process the data. If not possible, studies are required to measure the contribution that influence the result to compensate. Subsequently, a data acquisition system is used to allow us to know the transmission and backlash error with the developed algorithm. Once the results are processed, are sent to SCADA so that the company has a record of the result of each differential measure. In the same way, a backup data is being stored in the computer. The results are uploaded to the company's cloud to measure productivity and quality. Vibration Analysis System in John Deere Differentials In the case of the Vibration Analysis project on differentials in heavy vehicles, a system was developed using accelerometers, detecting the interaction between the teeth of the gears within the differentials allowing to know if it is a differential assembled in the good conditions or not. According to a previous laboratory study, a group of compliant and non-conforming ones were characterized. Spreadsheets were developed to determine thresholds that make pass or not pass decision. The results are then sent to SCADA and a commercial enterprise cloud system that contains all measurement results in a spreadsheet. The transmission of results was developed in XML to be able to interact between the measurement stations and the cloud station database. Both the accelerometers and the data acquisition system are sent to be calibrated at CENAM, having created a traceability chart. This allowed them to update their measurement system and create behavior records on their sensors. Example videos. We can appreciate the test bench designed by CENAM and the final station made by Calbeck Automation. This step was of a vital importance in the process of technology transfer and metrological assurance.
the system is simplified in this diagram. It starts at operator's indication. Once the differential is in position, the data acquisition system is configured with the current sensitivity values. Until the measurement starts, the differential code is read to create its unique database by model. Afterwards, it starts the test. The system detects if the sensors are connected, and if there is a fault, the software sends the alert. In case there is no alert, the software continues loading the acceptance parameters and check if the entire model is new or has previous record. In one case or the other, the system loads or creates a new model in the database. The system performs the measurement running the mechanism and once the vibration values represented in RMS values are obtained, they are compared with the thresholds to determine if it passed to the next test or is sent to rework. The new results are sent to the cloud database, where they are added to the model database, and these create the new acceptance parameters. Apply formula tendencies to meet the industry needs. The formula applied in this project was successful. For the project with transmission error and backlash, six more measurement stations were produced because those developments impact the production and quality in a positive way. For vibration analysis, it was used a pioneering project in this industry given automation and being a prime example of a digital twin. If we add the industry and metrology 4.0, we can have reduction in costs, best productivity and quality. Thanks for your attention. I am Aldo Garcia from Vibrations and Acoustic Division of the National Metrology Institute of Mexico.